Hello my friends, this is Dave F. Xantra here with my intraday videos which I decided to do and uh, so let's uh, don't make it long but let's start and uh, do some analysis. So we are looking to the Aussie, uh, Aussie USD and what do I see here in the intraday? So we can see this cluster of the buyers which are losing and they are losing in the most of the brokers which are watching so the ratio is 19% uh, to the shorts of the retail traders so i expect it to drop down to the, this stop loss cluster so what i will do is that i will put the sell order right now and i will put uh, put my put my stop above above uh, this uh, quarter number and I will put the stop loss uh, down here. So I'm, I'm trading with uh, 0 0.01 because this is something uh, which we developed and I'm still testing it. However, I have uh, really amazing results. Uh, the next one is the gold. On the gold there is nothing clear. The ratio is 50-50 around so it could go up or down. However, we can see that uh, the people who was trading in here, they put stop losses above here uh, to the whole number. So uh, I will not do anything till the market will come uh, into this level. So what I'm going to do is that I will put the alert here and that's it. Uh, the next one is the is uh, euro Oz, euro euro dollar so what do we see here we see that uh, the most of the traders are on the short side uh, so basically where will the market go May mostly when they are most on the short side the market could go up so what do i see here is that uh, here it's, it's starting the levers but uh, most of the people have a short so they probably short it in here he here you can see how the market was moving and you can see this break they catched the most of the traders here which entered the game and now they are in the trap and market makers are not giving them the chance to enter the market so i still expect this go up but uh, i think that we will might see some correction and the market makers will might want to uh, attract more people to the short side so what i will do is that as i see that here i have uh, the sellers uh, which are losing, which which is the 43% uh, losing the sellers. I think that the market makers still could go down here and give a little bit chance to attract more people. So what they will do, they will probably break lower here and then uh, they could uh, move higher or they could do it here because in here we have the stop losses of these traders which went long, which which saw this break. So they did go long. As you remember in my past analysis. Uh, about the market psychology so when i was posting and the, the speaking about what the peoples are doing so when they see the break they basically go long and now they will be entering long again so what i will do here is so that i will want to go with the buy limit here and i will put my stop loss uh, to 137 one, 137 which is uh, which is below here i think here i should be safe because if the market goes down uh these these sellers will be winning and that's uh, what the market makers doesn't want to and i will put uh, the take profit just above here because it's for my intraday trading so i'm not targeting any big target so 1149 will be my target so let's go one one forty nine. That's it, and I will set it here. So here is the zone where where, where are some buyers, and uh, I believe that they will not have a chance to win. So this is uh, simple like that. Uh, the next one is the pound. On the pound, it's not clear scenario. The market could go up or even down. Uh, however, uh, I still believe that uh, we can see the pound. Uh, strengthening so I will put uh, I, I will put um, uh, the alarm here uh, on this level when these stop losses will be hit uh, I will want to enter enter the market and uh, go up actually I like this scenario but uh, but uh, uh, the sellers here are too low so 
uh, what I will have to do is uh, to to wait uh, till the market drop down. No, no, no. This is not uh, any clear. I'm looking for only good situation, so I have to skip it. And this is the next one. Uh, what is this? And uh, here we have a uh, here we have um, the kiwi. Nothing clear. It's like 50-50. Not anything nice. And here is the here is the USD cat. So what do we saw here? It's uh, very beautiful. We can see that uh, the market was dropping down, and the market makers was attracting these sellers. So a lot of people sold here. They expected to drop down, and there is a lot of sellers below down here. They will not give them the chance because we can see they have stop losses here. So basically, what I'm gonna do simply is this. Uh, I will go long right now and I will expect the stop losses to be hit and I will put my stop loss uh, below below these orders because I believe that uh, uh, they will not be hit because we can see that there is a lot of sellers in here and they have a uh, stop losses here so the people who was trading in this zone they put stop losses above that and uh, I think the market makers will come go will go for them so let's see let's see might i'm wrong and i will get the stop loss so we will see next one is the kiwi kiwi we have uh, the ratio is saying the short so it could go down however the rancher and uh, how was the market moving in the last days it's a big range and uh, I don't want to. I don't like. Uh, I don't like how the market is set up right now. Uh, I think we will see my some correction because we can see people are selling here. So might we will see uh, some correction before we will continue down. But uh, this market is not interesting for me at the moment. So next one, the Frank. Nothing interesting here. Euro Z looks like the short. However, what is the problem here? We can see that the most of the traders are set for the short, so we should go long because we want to. We will go with the market makers, and we think they will be them. So we can see that the market is. Uh, if you look to the higher charts, like uh, four hours, you can see that there is like something like this. There's this trend, and now it's moving sideways. So this is like uh, what we see here uh, in the smaller scale. And uh, you can see that all these people who was trading here, they expect uh, the market to drop down, you know. So they put stop losses uh, above that. So they have stop losses like here. And uh, you can see that it's going down and it's making these steps. And uh, I believe this will go up again because, uh, because uh, here is a lot of sellers and there's not much buyers. So you can see it's better for the market makers to go up because uh, there's more people in this uh, in this one so i will go long for my in my intraday and uh, i will target just uh, like this and i will i will put my stop loss uh, below this level uh, below this one and I expect it to go up uh, a bit before it maybe start to change the direction. Because the thing is that uh, when this break up, you know, these stop losses will be changing. And uh, what we will see is that uh, mostly when the market is still going up, the people change their sentiment. And when they start to buy, when they start to be buying, the market makers start to take the market down. So I'm still with on the, sh on the long side. This is the Aussie N. Aussie N. I missed this trade uh, because uh, what we see here is that uh, uh, we have a very strong downtrend uh, uh, by the market makers. So people are taking the longs uh, on this downtrend. This is what they mostly do. They're still looking for this uh, for this uh, retracement. So I think uh, this still could drop lower and. Uh, However, it's already down like this, so, and I see here is a big sell order, so might uh, it could go up. However, this is not interesting for me, so I skip that. This is the Euro Yen dropping as well, someone shorted here, 
and I think uh, this could continue lower, but uh, I will not sell here, you know, it's not interesting for me. And this is the pound yen, very similar situation, and uh, it's very low now, and I expect it to drop maybe might even lower. So let's see what's gonna happen here. And this is it. So this is it. I have opened some trades on this my small testing account. You can see some of them already moving. So let's uh, let's see how it's gonna end up. So you can see this is this uh, our Aussie which I entered here, and the market is already dropping down. And uh, I will see on the end of the day how this gonna end up. And this is it. And this is how I'm gonna do my intraday trading as well and i will post it for my friends in my telegram channel so thank you for watching don't forget subscribe don't forget to visit my uh, telegram channel as i said and uh, and i wish everyone a great start to the 2019 because this must be the best year for us thank you bye bye my friends